Good night, Tanya. How are you, girl? <laughs> I'm so glad Tanya is here right now. Very good. Excellent. Let's wait for the rest. Natty, great dog girl. Yay. Okay. We do have a Natty. We have Sulva. Yes. Only girls. Great job. That today is gonna be a great really, really good because it's gonna be a girls' night, right? <laughs> Excellent. Woohoo! Only girls. That's the spirit. Okay, can you listen to me, girls? Do you listen to me, yeah? Yes, teacher, hi. Ah, that's good, I was scared, like, nobody answered, so, oh my God, what's going on here? All righty, very good. I wanna see your beautiful faces. Oh no, you know what? It was a girl's night, but now we have Jorjito. So, Jorjito, no more girl's night. <laughs> Why not? Uh, well, because you appeared. <laughs> That's a very good and valid reason, you know. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, guys, how's your day going so far? Was it good? Was it much better than yesterday? Yes, it yeah? was much better. Hey, what happened with your phones? Did you find them? Uh, no, no. No? No yet? No. No, it's lost yeah. forever. <laughs> it's lost, it completely lost, right? Yes. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Yeah. I am happy because Wait. este today uh, a company uh, accepts me really? to another job. Yeah. Hey, so did you apply for another job and they accept that? Yes. Uh, and, it, and it's in English, so uh, oh. I I. I need to practice a lot. I definitely, my man, you will practice a lot. <laughs> really? Yeah, and what's the company for? Uh, the name is Veronica Insurance. Veronica, oh, insurance company. Yes. Hey, I'm really familiar with that topic. You cannot imagine. <laughs> yeah, ba basically, I work with them. Oh, okay. But in my case, I uh, yeah, because... I don't know if I let you know that guys yesterday, I think with the other group. <laughs> uh, I uh -huh. it right to you, but uh, I have another job also, which is basically I work for uh, facilities, hospitals, physicians mm -hmm. uh, with the United States, but um, I'm in the collections team. That means the, the one that oh, okay. bills and everything, right? The claims and everything. Mm -hmm. So, but we yeah with a mental health and substance abuse um, area. Mm -hmm. And we are the ones who yeah. search for information on the insurance websites or call them directly and ask if they receive the information that we send, how is the process going, if they already paid the services or not. So basically, okay. <laughs> that, that is, is my daily basis. So do you have three words? What? Do you have three words? Work. No, no. two. Well, three. Oh, two. If, mm -hmm. if, I, if, if we're talking about house chores, of course. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it. two. I wish no, two. Two is enough, okay? Oh, okay. I know that I have a lot of energy, enough. but that would be too yeah. much. I'm not, I'm not done <laughs> Maybe I look like, hopefully, okay, <laughs> but, but I'm not drunk anymore. Mm. How old do you think am I? How, how uh, are you? I know. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Don't worry if you say 50, that's okay. 35. Really? No. 35. I wish, but no. Mm. Uh -huh, not 40? No, no yet. <laughs> <laughs> so my husband um, said, ah, you're close, you're close, but I'm not. What? What is that? 
38. Yes, yes, sir. I'm 38 years old. Ah, okay. Am I look like? Oh, okay. Or no? No, no. What do you look, do like, look like? Like 30. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. You're going to be in my BFF forever and never. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm going to be. I'm and Tati is like, oh, this teacher. Okay, yeah, I know. <laughs> yes. Uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's because of the camera, you know. It's, uh, this simulates my wrinkles. I'm not. I, don't have, no, I don't have it. I don't have wrinkles. Even though I want white skin. Oh. Right. I, I do not have rings. <laughs> no, no. Um, maybe I don't know why. Maybe my lifestyle, the way they I eat, I don't know. Maybe because I'm not a mom, that could be another reason why. Well, many things to Asia. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, right. Well, I'm not a mom, like giving birth, but I was my niece's second mom, if I can say that. So. I know how it is to raise a child. You cannot imagine. I know that for sure. Especially when yeah. you want to go to sleep and they're still crying and very active 11 30 p.m. and you're still and you're like dancing with them and hopefully they want to sleep and you're you're tired and they are really awake, right? So yes, especially that situation. I know that. <laughs> so I can help you with that, okay? I have worked with um Medical insurance with a dental insurance with a lot of insurance, so I will help you. Okay, especially with the vocabulary. Yeah. Yes, I need it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry. We're going to do a lot of things, a lot, a lot of role plays. Okay, today we're going to do a role play. Okay. You know, guys, that will be awesome. Today's class. <laughs> okay, so we heard that Jorge is really happy because he was accepted in a new job and they say yeah so that's amazing we have to we are happy for you very good Tati, tania umanya hello girl how are you nice to see you we cannot hear you i, I think you have your microphone mute yes teacher and i have a sick you, you, oh um, you're sick oh my days. god yeah oh. uh, Por eso no me había conectado. Oh my god, but are you okay now? Yes. Do you feel much okay. better? Yes, yeah, much better. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, but I'm yeah. so happy that you are here. Yeah. So don't worry, okay? Don't worry if you're like, okay, we were still talking about something that you're, what are they talking about? Okay, no idea. <laughs> don't worry, okay? You're going to okay. warm up, like if you're going to the gym and you need to do like the stretches and everything to like get too to deeply to the exercises. So don't worry about it, okay? Just okay. listen, pay attention. There you go. Tomorrow we'll ask you a lot of things, but today I will leave you in peace. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 yes, and I'm going to ask you something. If, for example, you feel that I'm speaking really fast or you didn't understand something, just let me know, okay? Just raise your hand or say, teacher, and I will be more than glad to explain it again or to slow down a little bit, okay? Okay. Cool. Thanks. Nice to meet you, Tati. Nice to meet you. Tania. Very good. Nice okay. To meet you too. <laughs> hey, Nati, how's your day going? Hi, teacher. Hey. Uh, well, my day was uh, very good. Ooh. It was better than yesterday because uh, the traffic was a little bit more fluid. Oh, great. <laughs> That's amazing. And I had a, a little, a very calm day in the oh, in my work. Really? What do you do? I work in the bank. Oh, oh my God, that's pretty heavy. Yes, but the system fall out all the afternoon, so we you were like, <laughs> really? You gave what you was? Hey, that would be a really good example when we're going to use it to the in today's class, right? Because you will keep in giving excuses. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So we, we stay in the computer and it was very cold. Very, of course, the system went down. There's nothing else that you could do. That's right. Just yes. talk with your neighbor, right? <laughs> <laughs> and drink a cup of coffee. That's great. That's great. Excellent. <laughs> very good. Good job, Nati. Thank you. All and right. So, Mita, what about you? How's your day going, girl? Hello, teacher. Hello, everyone. 
Uh, my my day it was really really cool. Okay, why? Because I I don't I don't listen to any customers in Only Spanish in this day. Hey, <laughs> really? Okay. No, no, uh -huh. in the supermarket because oh, okay uh, because the customer yeah there are some some customers that, that they are very angry. But now uh, the customers are very patient, patient, right? Patient? Patient and I'm really happy. Really? Oh, that's great. So you, you also have a really good day at your work. Yes. And where, where do because you work, Sulmita, by the way? Uh, in a supermarket. In a supermarket, oh, okay. In near your house? Yeah. Uh, a little, a little bit. Oh, so that's it nice. To, mm -hmm. see, it it takes to 30 minutes. 30 minutes from your house to, oh, to your house, uh -huh. to your work? Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So now you didn't have uh, angry yeah. customers, only happy customers and patients. <laughs> yeah. That's Thank awesome. God I... yeah. yeah. So everybody right now has a deal with people, right? We deal with people every day. Okay, that's cool. And people are really interesting, but sometimes they're really difficult. Yeah. And we communicate differently, right? Very different way. But thank you, Zulmita. That's nice to hear. Let's listen yeah. to our daddy, <clears throat> Mr. Selvin P Perla, how are you, sir? Fine, teacher. Fine. Hey. How are you? I, as always, good, sir. Thank you. <laughs> okay. T today is was a normal day. Okay. Um, without emotion. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Is very was a very light day. Okay. Easy going one. Okay. Yes. That's good. Yes, it looks like because you you look really calm. Yesterday you looked like <laughs> you were you were thinking about something, right? Oh. But today you look really calm. That's good. Oh. Yes. Yes. It's, it's a, a a good day. A good day. That's a good yeah, day. Right. Yes. That's good. Normal day. Normal, normal day. day for you. Okay, that's yes. cool. So everybody, as of right now, everybody had a really good day. Let's listen to the rest of the classmates. Let me check. Thank you, Salvin. Let me check Adriana. How's your day going, Adri? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was very busy. Uh, easy, because... really? Okay. Busy, busy. Okay. Uh, because... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, because I cleaned my room. Uh, you also... cleaned your room? Oh my God, that's why here yeah. it's, like somebody, it's going to rain, okay? <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, also, I, I I washed the clothes, and moreover, I went to the supermarket with my mom. Uh -huh. uh, I returned in my in my house. I I returned at you my return house. Back? You return back home, okay? Ah, uh, uh, four p.m. Wow, you really had a busy day. That's it. <laughs> yes. That's it. That, that, that's, that's, that's good. It. <laughs> Excellent. Very good job. Oh my God. So the sanity passed through Adriana's house today. That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> All right. Very good. <laughs> How frequently does sanity Thanks. pass to your home, Adri? Once a week, once a month, once every three weeks. Every three months. Uh, I'm asking you how frequently you uh, do these activities. How frequently you clean everything? I. Uh, how frequently? Mm -hmm, every yes. day? Or every week? Uh, every day. Ah, okay, okay. So you're a clean girl. That's good. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much for sharing your day, Adri. Let's listen to another beautiful lady that we have here, Rosario. Hi, Miss Paris. How are you today? The mommy of the group. Very good. Good evening. Good evening. 
In my case, uh, I, it was a um, quiet day. Quiet day, okay. Uh, a few, a few customers. Mm-hmm. Uh, cold day. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you, you can see in Rosario's expressions that she's really calm and relaxed, right? Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, so you wish you could have more days like this, right, Rosario? More relaxing days, right? <laughs> yes. Yay, very in my, good. In my, in, my, in my room, it's a quiet. Oh, my God. So you are in the relaxed moment. That's good. You deserve it. You're a busy yes. woman, so you deserve it. Very good. Thank you, Rosario. Let's yes. listen to Raquel. Raquel. Hi, girl. Hi. How's your day going so far? Mm, well, um, it was good. I it was think. good. Okay. Tell yeah. us what happened. I went to eat uh, uh, my breakfast with okay. my boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then Sorry, I. Sorry, Jorge. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Then I washed my my clothes. Oh. And now I'm here. Yes, because you know, yesterday I told you I always um, well, wake up 11 a.m. Uh -huh, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was like, I'm so curious what happens. You had breakfast with your boyfriend, but you didn't have breakfast at 11 a.m., right? Uh, yeah. No, uh, well, today I, I took my breakfast uh, at... 1 p.m. I think. 1 p.m.? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? That was not your breakfast. That was your brunch. Oh, well, it was my brunch. <laughs> hey, you know, uh, talking about that, Raquel, uh, guys, you know that brunch is a word that we use when we combine the breakfast and the lunch together. Mm -hmm. But for okay. some reasons, we didn't have breakfast regularly at 8 a.m. in the morning or something like that. And like Raquel, that always has her breakfast uh, around 11, 12, one that normally are the lunch hours, <laughs> right? So she basically, she has the two uh, meals together. So yeah. she has the brunch. Brunch is the breakfast and the lunch together. That's the word that we use, brunch. Teacher. So, yes, Selvin. Wait. Which is the name of the food lunch between oh. Dania? Oh no, there's no. Oh, uh, maybe it's a it's a it's a break. Only break. Only break. It could be a really morning break, or it could be um an afternoon break. Afternoon break. Afternoon okay. break. Yes, but okay. um, that's that's what we have. But if we don't have like, for example, if you join the lunch and the dinner together. We don't have a word, only for the um, breakfast and lunch. Yes, but in the afternoon is a afternoon coffee break, for example. Coffee break is in the afternoon one. Because that is when normally when you have your coffee, right? With a piece of sweet bread or something like that. Or just a coffee. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Selvin. All righty. So continue, Raquel. You had your brunch at 1 p.m. And so... <laughs> and then I washed my clothes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, and now I'm here. Yes, I did three things in the old day. Yes. How, <laughs> how long have you been washing your clothes? Since 3 p.m. in the afternoon until today, right now? No, because uh, we went to it. She had and a then, lot of... Okay, go ahead. <laughs> uh, and then we um, come back. Uh -huh. You I come back, back or you came back? Uh -huh. we, came, we, we came back. Very um, well, you know. Yes, I we know. We thought. <laughs> and then I, I said, we have to wash our, our clothes. And even, uh, how can I say, hace unos minutos? How you say that in English? Help her, guys. A few moments ago. A few okay. A few minutes. Uh, a few good. minutes. A few minutes ago. Okay. Or a few, a few minutes, minutes ago. ago uh -huh. well, we finished. Oh, okay. <laughs> to wash. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I think they yeah. had the clothes for two weeks, right? Yeah. <laughs> she said yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Well, and 
That's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was really interesting day, Raquel. <laughs> Even though it was a short day for you, but uh, you really did a lot of things. Well, at least you had your goal to reach, which is having brunch, mm -hmm. going out, and finish washing your clothes and be on time for English class. And you accomplished them. So that was really good. Okay. It was a really good day. Thank yeah, you. <laughs> excellent. And last but not least, let's listen to Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Hi. How are you? I'm, I'm going. You're good? Okay. Jimmy, how was your day? I'm good. Um, my day was good. Okay. What did you do? Uh, I had my I had my classes online. Okay. Mm. What else did you do? Did you play soccer? Mm, yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Did you eat something that, special? That's all. Oh, that's all. Ah, okay, okay. So you know what? We, Jimmy, we have a, a, a student who really, really loves to study. And he continues to study, but right now English. <laughs> so that's good. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much. Hey, by the way, did you, uh, <clears throat> did you do your homework? Yes, teacher. Finally. Okay, very good. Hey, this is my homework. remind me, Selvin. Let me check. What's that? Oh, yes, yeah, cool. Okay, so yesterday I sent you guys like some um, phrasal verbs, right? That we go to our verbs that we can use. And also some um, nouns that we can use them, right? So what was um, the homework about? Was that you need to pick which one you consider is the right one to go with the correct noun and try to make a sentence, right? That was exactly the homework. So do me a favor. The first uh, phrasal verb, what was it? Do you remember? Which was the first phrasal verb? I think clean, right? Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Hang okay. up. Mm -hmm. Pick up. up. Mm -hmm. Put away. Okay. Take out. Mm -hmm. Throw out. All right. Turn off. Mm -hmm. Turn on. Very good. Okay, so do me a favor, Selvin. Can I have one sentence using clean up? Yes. Uh, please clean clean up the microwave. Oh. And any other, anybody else has a different um sentence or a different way to say exactly the same thing? Teacher. Yes, teacher. My sentence is: I asked my sister if she can help me to clean up the mess. Very good. Clean up the mess. Excellent. Any other example, Rosario? Uh, hi, teacher. Uh, Joshua, clean up the mess you have in your room. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Excellent job. What's the other uh, phrase of verb? Pick up, right? Or no? Oh, hang up. Hang up. Hang, hang up. up. Hang I'm up. Not... Okay, Rosario, I know she wants to participate. She's like, <sighs> very good. Go okay. ahead, girl. Hang up. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah, yeah, goes inside the class. Very good, excellent. Any other example, Jorgito? Jorgito, yes. Hey, hang up your laptop call. Very good. Okay, Raquel, what about you? Any other example we hang up? Hang out. Or whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Hang, no, I need hang up. Hang up. Okay. Uh, she went to hang up her clothes. Okay. That's wonderful. Excellent. Uh, Sulmita, what about you? Mm, uh, please uh, hang up your towel. Okay. The towel. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Uh, number three, what was the la what was the third one, Selvin? Pick up. Pick up, okay. Can I have a sentence with pick up? Using nouns. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Selvin, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, 
please pick up the grocery. Pick up the grocery. Very good. Another example, Rosario? Uh, Mary, please pick up the garbage from the jar. Very good. Excellent. Good one. Uh, 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 Teacher. No. Yes, Audrey. Teacher. Yes. Eh, 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 pues, ah, for example, I think, mm -hmm. eh, Carlos, pick up my cell phone, please. Very good. That's mm. a good one. Excellent. My ah, cell phone. Yes. yes, my cell phone is a noun. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Okay. okay. Very good. Uh, the next um, phrase of verb. Which one was it? Nati? Put away. Put away. Okay. Can you have an example, please? Please put away your coat, your coat from the table. Very good. Excellent. Any other example, um, Selvin? Uh, Mr. Put away, put away the magazine in the store. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Jorjito, any other example? Throw out the garbage. No, I mean put away. Put away. Uh-huh. Put away the magazines Very from good. the table. <laughs> and also you said throw out, right? Throw out. Very good. Throw out the garbage. Any other example we throw out, uh, Sulmita? Mm. Yes? I am. Throw out what is, what is the meaning? I sent that information. Throw out. What is the meaning in, in Spanish, guys? Throw out. Poner en su sitio. Ah, is for example. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Give me um, an example. Yes. Example. Mm, uh, my mom mm -hmm. told me told me mm -hmm. uh, throughout the garbage. Very good. Excellent. That's a good example. Excellent job. Raquel. Turn off. Okay. Um, uh, my mom always turn um turn off music. turn off turn off ah okay my mom always turn off um the lights turn off the lights very good excellent can I have an example with turn off uh uh Jimmy uh, yeah. Can I have an example with turn off? Um, I think he's thinking. I will I will give you an aspect. I will give you a chance, okay, to think. Uh, Selvin, can I have an example with turn off? Hello, Selvin. Yes, <laughs> he was like, okay. Uh, we cannot hear you. You have your microphone, your microphone off. No, we cannot oh, hear you. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, yes, yeah. much better. Yes, thank you, sir. <laughs> okay, uh, Jose Manuel, please uh, turn off your computer now. Very good. Okay, and that is your one of your son's name. Yes, uh -huh. I, I imagine. I imagine <laughs> sound too daddy right now. Okay, yeah, yeah. all right. <laughs> okay, very good. Let's listen to one mom. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Nati, what about you? Uh, turn on the uh, turn on or turn off? No, turn on. That's the last one. Mm -hmm. Turn on the microwave so we can heat the dinner. Very good. Exactly. Oh my God, that's really practical. You see, mm -hmm. so guys, the, you can able, with this exercise, you are able to see that phrasal verbs, in this case, the two word verbs, they're really common. They're really common to use. And also guys, um, they are really practical and they help us to say something like instead of saying, please, Patty, do me a favor, put, plug, the, th the thing into the electronic powder because we need to hit the dinner, right? Oh my goodness, that is a whole soap opera, right? So instead of saying, woof, you use phrasal verbs to simplify your life. 
and also to communicate something or send a message or request something to do with one phrase, okay? That is really easy. So guys, for now on, I want you to continue practice the phrasal verbs, okay? Between you, your family, in your daily basis. That will help you a lot. So today, guys, we have stopped seeing making requests with phrasal verbs, okay? And before uh, we pass to the other topic for today, does anybody have uh, any doubts, any questions? Ask or sip it forever. Get of water. Like water or like yes. horchata? La horchata. Okay, so come on. <laughs> With milk. Okay. So at least a little bit clear. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Does anybody else besides Selvin, Jorjito, Sulmita, Nati, Rosario, Tanya? Don't worry. I think it's clear. Is it clear? Okay. Yeah. Rachel? Yeah, teacher. For yeah. me, it's for, clear. For you? Okay. Audrey? Audrey? Yes, teacher. Okay. It's clear. It clear like yes, water. Teacher. Okay. <laughs> And what about Mister, you, Rachel? Yes, Alvin. Uh, in this example, is is it's possible to say uh, clean the microwave up? Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, it is. Do you remember okay. why? Um, I, I you know the answer. No, no, no. I, 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 I remember that the the this word I can put the uh, the uh, nouns me between clean up. Yes, you can. Remember that yesterday we saw uh, phrasal verbs with nouns and with pronouns. Remember that? Yes. Okay. Only okay. We, only with pronouns you can just put it. The pronoun between the two parts of the phrasal verbs okay. but with the nouns you can either put it in between or you can do it put it at the end oh, okay but okay. only with nouns okay yes yes okay yes. cool okay yeah all right guys so we have seen two phrasal verbs to ask for requests pick up your clothes hang up the towel right uh, turn off the tv turn on the microphone etc oh uh, so now there's another way you know to also make requests. There are another way to say it. E English is really by irony. And there's a lot of way to say exactly the same thing or to ask for something. So to continue making requests, now we're going to double check something that we call model verbs. Have you heard about them? Model verbs? Yeah. Yes. We have a lot of model verbs, but in this case, we're going to uh, use three of them to make requests, can, could, and would. From can is from the more informal. And would will be the more formal, okay? So can and could, sometimes you can use it for people with that you know, your friends, your family, etc. right? But would, you can use it for, with your neighbors, for example, or for with your coworkers, okay? And also guys, we can also use another phrase to ask for requests besides model verbs. And that is the phrase, would you mind? Would you mind? And that is the most polite, would you mind? But there is a difference in the structure with can, could, and would, and the structure with would you mind? There's difference. Both um, expressions, we can use it to make a request as we can use it, uh, the two or verbs, but the, um, the formula is different. So that's what I want you to double check right now, okay? So <clears throat> let the party start, okay? Woohoo! All right, but before we continue, uh -huh, I need to send you something. Teacher, teacher, yes. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, Do me a favor, what is Audrey. the different? Uh -huh. uh, what is the different uh, entre between? It could between between what? 
can, um, could, and would. And no, and can't. Mm -hmm. And negative. And could. Well, I understand your and, question. The difference uh, between can and could, or the difference between can uh, yes. and couldn't. couldn't. Can. Can. Oh, okay. And cool. The difference, basically, you're asking exactly the the same, Audrey, a possibility to somebody do something. But the difference is uh, that can is more informal way to ask. And could is more formal. Okay? But both are the same. Am I make myself clear or no? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, you're welcome. You will see it. You will see it in a minute. I'm going to send you something, guys. And I want you to have it with you. Basically, this is going to be individually. No, it's going to be pair. There you go. Okay, let me check if I have it here. I'm going to send it to you right now. Just let me know, guys, if you receive it or not, okay? Just bear with me for a moment. Did you guys receive it? Yes? Yes. Yeah? Cool. So basically, guys, what I sent it to you is the introducing for today's topic. We have five questions. Can you see that? On your left side, right? Could you please tell me, blah, 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 blah and so on. And on the right side, we have A, B, C, D, and E, right? Okay, this is what I want you to do. I will give you one minute for you to read it individually and getting familiar with the questions and the possible answers. And then we're going to work together, okay? That's what we're going to do. So you will start knowing how we're going to use this model verse to make a request, okay? Give you one moment. Read it carefully, read it by yourself. Read it, Adri, read it what I sent it to you. Ta Tanya, do you have the information that I sent? I, I don't understand. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Tanya, are you in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Yes. But, uh, yes. Are you in the WhatsApp group with us? Yes. Okay. But, ah, okay. I um, send it. I send you information, right? I send it to you this. Yes. No. Oh, so you're not in the it's WhatsApp. Other, other group. So you're not in the WhatsApp. El último mensaje que está en este WhatsApp es de Adriana. No, el mismo. no, it's not the same. No. No. So what I'm going to do right now, Tanya, is I'm going to send the link here through the, um, uh, to the chat. So you will be able to click and to get into, okay? Bear with me for a moment. Okay. In the meantime, guys, continue reading, okay? Okay, I did it already, Tanya. I read, I did it on the chat. Do you have it? I'm just okay, click on that, and enroll in the group, and I'm gonna send the information once again. Okay, finish, guys. Cool, right? This is the group. This is the group. Let me check. Yes, you're here. Okay, I'm gonna send it okay. one more time. So don't pay attention to the second one, right, guys? It's only for Tanya. Okay, Tanya, there you go. Okay. Cool. Okay, so do me a favor. Let's start reading. Let's practice right now the reading, because for me, it's really important that we start practicing the intonation of the questions, okay? Okay, first big theme, sorry, first participant. Thank you so much, Tanya. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, don't worry, I can't. Tanya, I will give you time. Uh, Sulmita. Sulmita, I want to see your face. 
Very good. Yeah, teacher. It's because I have him on my cell phone and I, oh, okay, I okay. close the Zoom and I... Ah, okay, okay, okay. That's okay. So you can close it and we're just going to listen to your beautiful voice, okay? Don't worry about that. But okay. do me a favor. Can you please um, read for me the question number one? Okay. Uh, could, you, could you please tell me the next time you have a party? Very good, excellent intonation. Second question, Salvin. We're just reading the questions right now. We cannot hear you, Salvin. I think uh, you're on uh -huh. it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Uh, can you turn the music down, please? Very good, excellent, good intonation. Uh, Rachel, number three. Would you mind closing the door behind you and making sure it looks? It looks? Are you okay? Are you sure it looks or it locks? I don't understand. It locks. Locks. Okay. Locks. okay. Do it, it one more time. Do it one more it time locks. for me. Would you mind closing? See. Would you mind closing the door behind you and making sure it locks? Very good. Excellent. Number four, Rosario. Number four. Could you please tell your guests to use the visitor parking space? The space or spaces? The spaces. Very good, excellent. And last but not least, Jorjito. We cannot hear you, Jorjito, I'm sorry. Would you mind not putting your garbage in the hallway? Oh my God, you scared me. Like, oh, your mind, like, oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. No, that's okay. Oof, my goodness. Okay, very good. Excellent. Congratulations, guys. I like the intonation of your questions. Very good. Very good. For me, it's really important that it needs to sound like if you're asking something. Okay, not like if you're saying something. So that's good. Excellent job, guys. Now let's move to the A to E which in this case are the possible answers, right? For each question, but they're in disorder. So letter A, Adri, could you please be so kind to read for me letter A, if you don't mind? Yes. Okay. okay. It's not very pleasant to see when I work by. Okay, it's not very pleasant. It's not very pleasant to pleasant. see when I walk by. Pleasant. Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So do it again. Please No, yes, but read the whole sentence. Uh, please. Okay. It's, it's not. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's not very pleasant to see when I work by. Walk? Oh, no, walk by. Walk by. Work. Work. No work. work walk. By. Walk. Walk, walk by. Walk by. Okay. One more time, please. Okay. It's. It's not very pleasant to see when I work. Work. I. Sorry, <laughs> I confused. I know. We know. Don't worry. Walk by. <laughs> work. What? Yeah. Do you remember China walk? Yes. The Chinese work. food. So you said walk, like China walk. Walk, walk. by. Walk. Mm -hmm. Walk by. Okay. Okay. One more walk. time. Okay. It's. It's not very pleasant to see when I work by. Very good, excellent. Rachel, what about you? Letter B. Letter B, letter B. Like let it be, right? But it's for Beatles. <laughs> we don't want a strange to enter the building. Okay. We don't want the strange to enter the building. We don't. We don't. Okay, excellent. That, that's why I wanna hear you don't. Do it again, please. We don't want strangers to enter the building. Excellent, Joe. That's my girl. Very good. Nati, numbers, letter C, please. Walls are really thin, so the sound goes through to my apartment. Very good. Excellent. Letter D. Tanya, letter D, you can do it. A lot of cars have been using my space recently. Very good. That's good. But guys, 
we have a, a lot of, right? OF. This is something really important that uh, I know that we are, it is, it is like a, a like a quick peek, okay? Or a sneak peek, if we can say that, like a, a little uh, advice. We have these two words. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you for your help. Okay, we have these two words, right? Let me check. Is it correct? We have these two words, right? Mm -hmm. The first one, the, uh, this one, guys, you pronounce it like this, off, right? When you have O-F-F, -F, you, you pronounce off. But what happened if you have only one F, how you pronounce it? Oh. It is different. Mm -mm. Oh. Of. Of. The pronunciation is different. So mm -hmm. there's one part that Tanya read, which is really good. You read this one, right? You, that is that is one part of your mm -hmm. sentence, right? So you don't say a lot of. You said a lot of. A lot of. Mm -hmm. Let me write it. Like that. A lot of. 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 Exactly. A lot of. You pronounce it. A lot of. A lot Remember, of. with o, with one F is of. With two F, off. Turn it off. Okay? Mm -hmm. Very good. So do it one more time, Tanya. You can do it. A lot of a lot of car have been used. Using my space recently. Very good. Only one that you're missing the the S for cars. Do it again. A lot of cars. I want to hear that. A lot of a, a, a lot, lot of, of <laughs> a lot of a lot of car have been cars have been using my space recently. Very good job. Excellent, Tanya. Excellent job. And last but not least, Rosario. Letter E as in echo. Letter, letter e. I like, I I like to make sure I'm not at home. Very good, very good, Rosario. I was I was waiting for like I'd I'd okay. like. Uh huh. That is, apostrophe D is the. I would like to. I yes. I like to. Very good. Excellent job. Okay, guys, now that you are familiar not only with the pronunciation, but also with the information of the possible answers and the information of the requests, this is what we're going to do. Let me double check how many we are. We are nine, right? We are 10, but without me, I'm nine. So let's work together. Let's work as a trio, okay? And I want you guys to discuss, to discuss the questions. Which you think is the possible answer per question. We are uh, 48 minutes. I will give you two minutes, no more than that. Okay, so bear with me for a moment. Who likes to work with? I don't know. I'm going to select, okay? Let me check how many we can create. Three, all righty. Okay, let me say it, number one. Okay, Adri, you're going to work with Jorjito and you're going to work with Sumita. Okay, let me check. On the second one, I do have Jimmy, Nati, and Rachel. And the last one, I have Rosario, Sullivan, and Tanya. Okay. Okay, guys, accept the invitation, please. Okay. And work together, okay? The questions and the possible answers. I will give you two minutes to answer the five one. Five, oh, six of them. Vamos a ordenar. Next. Do you understand what you're going to do? Uh, um, answer the question. Answer the questions, exactly. For, we have one, two, three, and something, right? We have the questions. 
And then we have the possible answer for letter A and continue, right? So you have to basically, guys, find the correct answer per question, okay? Okay, got it. Got it. Very good. Okay, let me double check the other groups. Continue working together. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. okay. I think... So the sound goes through to my apartment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the same. And number three, Jimmy. Yeah. Let it be. Yes. In the finish, I check the number one. Number two, rather. This Can you scene? turn the music down, please? Uh, Let her see. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. There was a reading thing. So the sound. Yes, yes, letter C. Mm -hmm. The okay. words are really thin. So the sound goes through the to the my apartment. Yes. Oh, very good. Yes. Listen to uh, Salvin's teacher. You know, he's really nice. Yes. <laughs> very good, guys. Very give me good. 10, give me 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good. One more minute, and then we come back together. Okay. You're doing great. Okay. Number three. Pa. Number three. three. Yes. Would you mind closing the door? Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. eh, y asegurarte que está cerrada. Es solo. Uh -huh. Este. No queremos que las extraña. Spanish. Bueno, Spanish. 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 Come on. Yeah. This is English. I got you guys. I catch up. Uh-oh. Same on you. No way. No Spanish for me. We don't want strangers to enter to the bed. I understand the Spanish, okay? I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, guys. Continue. Sorry. No. Okay. Number four. Yeah, it's letter B. Four. I don't know if we should come back to the other room or the teacher, the teacher is going to call us. I will call you. Oh. <laughs> what? Okay, you see, I'm paying attention. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm a good teacher. I'm double checking everybody in my class. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm going to ask you right now to come back, okay? Everybody. Okay, teacher. Okay, cool. Okay, we have Adri, we do have Nati, we have Jimmy, Rachel. Well, Rosario, okay. Tanya, all right. We're missing Jorge and we're missing Mr. Sullivan. Okay, so hurry up, guys. Okay, we had Sullivan. Sullivan, we're missing Sullivan and Jorge. Come back. And one, uh... Could you please tell me the next time you'll have a party? I'm not going uh, to tell you. <laughs> you're going to listen the answers, okay? I will play it on, uh, an okay. audio right now for you. Jorgito, yes. Okay, we're missing Selvin. Selvin, where are you? Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, guys, you already work together. You get to know each other. You practice your pronunciation, etc. Now, what I'm going to do is to basically... Play it an audio for you. I will play it an audio, right? And I want you guys to pay attention not only to the pronunciation, but also to double check if your answers are correct or not. Okay? Cool. Let me check right now. Let me, yes, let me share right now. There you go. Page 39, exercise seven, perspectives. Reasonable requests, part A. Match the sentences, then listen and check your answers. Are all the requests reasonable? 1. 
could you please tell me the next time you have a party? I'd like to make sure I'm not at home. 2. Can you turn the music down, please? The walls are really thin, so the sound goes through to my apartment. 3. Would you mind closing the door behind you and making sure it locks? We don't want strangers to enter the building. 4. Would you please tell your guests to use the visitor parking spaces? A lot of cars have been using my space recently. 5. Would you mind not putting your garbage in the hallway? It's not very pleasant to see when I walk by. Okay, guys. So tell me how many you have right and how many you have wrong. Or you have all of them right. We have the, oh, no, the right. five answers. Good. Yay! Very good. You need to feel proud of yourself. Woohoo! Okay, also you, Selvin, Rosario, Rachel, Adri, Jimmy, everybody has it correctly? Yeah, correct. we have. Yay. Yes, correct. Those are my guys. Excellent. Lovely A. Yay. A plus. Yes, you broke my heart as always. Excellent <laughs> job. Very good, guys. Woohoo! So now we still have four minutes, so we'll continue. Now, guys, that is the introduction for could, would, can, etc. And guys, tell me something in the set in the questions that you read using could, um, can, and would. Did you notice something in the verbs, in the principal verbs? For example, let me double check right now. Let me go back to what I sent it to you. The first one, could you please tell me the next time you have a party? In that particular question, guys, what is the main verb, the principal verb? What is it? Tell. Tell. Very good, Salvin. So also, for example, read the second question. Can you turn the music down, please? In that particular question, are we using regular verb or are we using phrasal verbs? Phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs. And mm -hmm. is also, guys, in present. So, we could and we can, we're going to use it verbs in present tense. Could you tell me, right? Could you ask her, etc.? Could you turn the music down? Could you turn the music up? Okay, so we could- Could you repeat the question? Yeah, the questions are there. The one that I sent it to you, Adri, is there. And also oh, okay. guys, it with would. So can you see, for example, question number four? Would you please tell? You see, again, the main verb is tell the same bird that we have in question number one. So guys, with could, we can, and with would, we can use either verbs in present tense. With, oh, oh, hey, listen carefully, guys. When we're making a request, okay? Model verbs with making a request. And also we can use phrasal verbs, okay? That is what, you, what I want you to notice, guys. Is that clear right now? So far, so good? Yes. Are you sure? That the Rachel? Yes? Yes, yes. yes okay. Yes. Now, do me a favor. Take close look. Uh, question number three and question number five. We have, would you mind? Is that correct? Correct. Fine. But let me ask you, number three, would you mind? In that particular question, guys, what is the main verb? Closing. Exactly Nine. so. The main verb is close, but we have it into ing form, right? Closing. So every time, guys, that you use the, the phrase, would you mind, to make a request, you're going to use the main verb in a gerund way. Would you mind closing? Would you mind opening? Yeah, etc. Only we would you mind. You, you cannot use the verb in the in the regular way. No, you need to put it in a gerund form. And take a look at number five. 
because also you can you can say would you mind in a negative way would you mind not putting your garbage if you were use guys the word not to convert a question in a negative question right or in a in a negative request so if you if you take a look at the question number five the particular not is between would you mind not and then we have the verb into gerund form. Would you mind not putting? Would you mind not closing? Would you mind not opening? Is it clear? Teacher, uh, yes. I have uh, a question. Amita, go ahead. My my no is a verb in this case. No. Would you mind? Would you mind? It's like um no. um. Let me say it in Spanish. It's really hard for I me don't to think care. in Spanish. No, 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 that's not. No. no, because would you mind? You use it to make a request to ask somebody to do something. That is a request, right? For example, you can say, Sulmita, would you mind a, go, would you mind going to the supermarket and buy me a, a carton of milk? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, would you mind? Yeah, it's like asking you something, but in a polite way. Let me say in Spanish, it's like, oh, le importaría si? Um, oh, no sería mucha molestia si? Would you mind? Oh, yeah, like that. I, I understand that, that English. <laughs> Do you understand that? Yeah, yeah, oh. very clear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's really hard for me sometimes. Uh, I need to like switch my cassette, yeah, and try to say it in the Spanish. But hopefully, my Spanish sounds good, right? Yeah, hopefully you like my Spanish. I will put. I will try to put it in practice. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. do you understand now, Sulmita? Yeah. Yeah, DJ. Okay. Thank cool. You. My pleasure. Hey guys, we saw today. Um, making a request using model verbs, could, can, would, and would you mind? And also guys, I will send you right now something that it will help you because sometimes you have to make a request to your neighbors, right? And maybe your neighbors also have to make a request to you as well. <laughs> so there are some expressions guys that we can use to refuse the requests. Uh, yes, I will give it to you right now. <laughs> and that will help you a lot. Okay, just if you, uh, I don't know if you, maybe something happens, you can also know how to, how to accept a request or how to avoid a request. Let me send it to you right now. And we're going to practice that tomorrow, okay? So prepare guys, because tomorrow <laughs> we're going to have so much fun, more than today. Okay, let me check. Okay, I sent it to you guys the different ways that we have to apologize. Okay, okay, guys. So I know time passed really fast. You know what? Woohoo! That's amazing. Maybe today you're like, oh, the grammar, but don't worry. Tomorrow you will know how we're going to put this in practice and we're going to have so much fun so girls prepare because maybe a boy will request us we request something to you and you will be able to say i'm sorry Sylvian, but uh, i'm busy tonight <laughs> okay so yeah so something like that we're gonna practice matter. yeah nah, we're going it will be like like acting you know it will be like yeah scenarios okay so we're going to practice this and you see how it's really useful in our daily basis, okay? Okay, guys, so hugs and kisses. Woo! Thank see you, you. later. Bye-bye. Good, Good night. Good night. <laughs>